So this is a good one. It's specific to my state. Um, but Levi here um, has a question. Um, so well, I guess Levi via Bobby's uh, Facebook page. Uh, so, <laughs> so you've had, so it, it sounds like Levi's had primary custody or a sole custody for four years and the other parent is coming back into the situation. Um, what can be done to navigate that? So I'll, I'll start out. Um, it is California question. Um, this is something that is unfortunately not common. Uh, we, we do have clients where this has been the case for various reasons. Um, courts, unless the kid's older, in California at least, the courts are probably, barring some circumstance, going to give the other parent a chance to be back in the child's life. Uh, but what you need to do is, is look at it through the child's eyes. Um, a lot of times it's going to be very slow buildup. It's not going to be one of those situations where uh, they're going to say 50-50 right away. But uh, I, I would say you need to at least have an open mind in terms of what uh, what involvement you would want the other parent to have and if they're serious. Because the question I would have, um, and I said we have clients that, that exactly like this, that mom's trying to come back in. And the question is, is this a, a flavor of the month? Is this to just lower child support? Is she going to be in and out again like she has been in the past? Um, but I, I, would, I would say that number one is keep an open mind. And then understand that if you're doing all the things right and you're doing what you're supposed to be doing, it it's probably, at least in California, not going to be a situation where there's really even a hope to get back to 50-50 custody or anything near that. So I'll turn it over to you, to Karen. Um, situations where there's been a long gap in, uh, in Pennsylvania, uh, what do those look like and what do you typically see out of them? Well, I, I agree with what you said. I can't really answer, you know, the California, but um, when there has been a gap, same thing. Like, what are the motives for the person coming back that hasn't seen their child? Because all the studies show that parents that are involved, two parents that are involved is better and is in the best interest of the children. So you want to protect your child, but at the same time, you want to be open-minded, like you said, that this could be beneficial for your child. Maybe the person had a drug issue and they've recovered. That does happen. So you kind of got to see what are those motivations and be open to it. At the same time, you want to protect the child from any future harm. If the person's not going to be consistent, if they're going to go back to using drugs or just for whatever reason, it could just be, you know, I've seen moms more interested in pursuing a new relationship than their child. So it could be a multiple of reasons why um, the person has been absent. So, so I think, like you said, like kind of see what the motives are, be open to it. And as far as the courts, they're not going to get primary custody. They're looking at precedence. You know, they don't want to disrupt the stability of the child, but they may get time and you might not used to be sharing that time. And you got to get open to the fact that they might have some of the time that you, you know, used to have all to yourself. And, think of it that it might be good for the child because all children want to know both of their parents, even parents that aren't good. You know, that's what makes a child feel secure. Um, but you also want to protect them. So if the person is doing drugs, you ask for a regular drug screening test, make sure the person's recovered. Um, you know, and if they're not consistent and they're not showing up, then you would go back to court and the court's probably not going to give them the time that they're looking for. Yeah, completely agree. Completely agree.